Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today's topic of the narcissist knowing that you know what they are or what they are up to will also be shedding a light on the narcissist's need for control even in this matter because narcissist awareness is on another level. No longer are we in the dark as to what we are dealing with. We know who they are. More of them are finding out what they are. The playing field is changing. Knowing how to deal with narcissists is crucial to avoid getting trapped and manipulated by these creatures. But what is also important to know is how the narcissist responds when they've realized that you have figured them out. The interesting thing is that some narcissists are in denial as to what they are and some still just don't know what they are, which is something I have covered in this video. But it still doesn't matter. Narcissists know when they are trying to screw you over. They know that they are fake. They know that they are liars, sneaky, two-faced, selfish and proud. So even if they don't know or accept the title of a narcissist, they still are a narcissist. And when they realize that you are onto them with regards to how they operate and treat people, they will respond in one of three ways. All narcissists will adapt one of the following three methods that I'm going to be going into in order to deal with those people who have sussed them out and are no longer fooled by their fake image, fake smiles and charisma. The choice of method depends on who you are to the narcissist. If you are someone they still need in their life, if you are more powerful or influential than they are, or if you are someone they can do without. When the narcissist realizes you are not buying what they are selling, they need to find new ways to manage you or control how you affect their life. They hate being around people who can see beyond the mask. They instantly deem you as a threat and their ultimate aim will be to destroy you. Whether they try the soft approach or going hard straight away, the narcissist wants you gone. When the narcissist knows that you know what they really are, it is a situation that needs to be controlled. Expect them to go silent around you until they figure out the best way to tackle the situation. But let's get into the three different approaches that a narcissist will take once they realize that you are onto them. The first one is that the narcissist may choose to play nice. The narcissist will love bomb you and show you their best face at all times. They will be trying to make a point to convince you that you may have read them the wrong way or that they are not as bad as you think or they have changed. They will study you and mimic you so that they only do and say the things you like. They will flatter you, even defend you, hoping they can win your trust. The narcissist is desperate to have you back on their side and that you only see them as they want you to. The second approach the narcissist may take when they realize you are onto them is avoid you. If you are a person of influence or more power than the narcissist, the narcissist knows you will not have time for their games, so they will prefer to stay clear of you, hoping that you forget all about them instead of using your influence and power to expose them. Expect them in certain situations to disappear without a trace. It won't be forever, just long enough until they think you've forgotten or they can convince you that they have changed. The final approach is where the narcissist begins a smear campaign. The narcissist may choose this option as they would see it as an opportunity to project all their negative traits onto that person. 
The narcissist sees you as a threat to their existence, so they need to terminate you by playing the victim and paint you as the perpetrator. It is necessary that everyone sees you as the bad guy who should be shunned and pushed aside so the narcissist will go to all lengths to discredit you. But no matter which method is employed, the narcissist is hoping that you do not expose them. So they would play nice to soften you up or they would avoid you hoping out of sight, out of mind or they will smear you to destroy you and discredit you first before you do it to them. All methods are to protect the narcissist and their number one interest, which is their false image and reputation. Narcissists don't want anyone reigning on their parade. If you know too much, you make the narcissist uncomfortable. They need to either get you back under control avoid you or eliminate you. When the narcissist knows that you have figured them out and you are not playing their game anymore or will not allow yourself to be manipulated by them, to the narcissist it screams a lack of control and the narcissist hates what they cannot control. They need you to keep seeing them through rose-tinted glasses and not for the evil, sick, twisted bastards that they really are. Narcissists are not smarter or better. They are not difficult to outthink or defeat. Knowing what you are dealing with is half the battle sorted and the narcissist knows this. That is why they would prefer if you remained ignorant of their devices and their true intents. And that is why when they realize you are not playing along, you become an instant threat. Well, I prefer to be a threat than to be a pawn in their foolish, twisted reality. Narcissists should be exposed, no matter who they are, because they have been sheltered, hidden, and tolerated long enough. As usual, I hope you all found this helpful. Many thanks for watching.